So hello and welcome into today's webcast for Electra, uh, um, an overhead power line design software uh, produced by CGS Plus. Uh, my name is Leon Leban and I'll just guide you through the overview of the Electra features that are uh, present. So first, let's start with the uh, platforms, the CAD platforms that are supported. Electra runs on top of Autodesk, AutoCAD and AutoCAD Civil 3D, but also Auto, AutoCAD Map platforms from the latest 2016 down to 2011, and also on the Bricks CAD platforms from version 15 down to version 13. Uh, so combining Electra with Bricks just makes it uh, even more cost-effective for customers and clients needed, needing uh, a software for doing an overhead power line design. Um, for start, let's have a brief introduction with a video and we'll continue then afterwards, more details. Okay, so, so much for the introduction to Electra. Let's go now in details. As seen in the video, Electra has uh, an integrated tool for dig digital terrain modeling. Um, so it is available for users running Electra on top of AutoCAD or BricsCAD, where there's no digital terrain um, feature or, or tool um, available. Uh, so for Electra comes with it uh, running in case running on, on map or with some other functionalities on top of CAT or BigScat, uh, there's a possibility to add additional cadastre information, but also some additional infrastructure information. In this example, here's the underground 
uh, network of power lines uh, in the area that has been put into the drawing. And based on this um, layout, now an, an overhead power line, a new power line um, is going to be designed. And as seen here, first user defines a new alignment, so a new, a new power line. It defines the name of the power line. And in, this, in the same step, it defines the, the surface to which the power line will be automatically uh, projected to. So basically, when the power line has been, has been drawn, it's everything set to go uh, to the profile, as we'll see later. But what's also important here is that in the parameters for this power line, also the wind loads uh, can be added. And those wind loads are read from the table. Uh, that are within the standards uh, which are included in the in the Electra. So uh, user selects appropriate standard, defines the proper uh, wind zones and, and land category, and then those values are automatically taken in consideration for the wind loads calculation. So after uh, the power line has been designed, a profile gets gets drawn, and what's important is that all the Mm, the masts, so the poles, which are on the beginning of the power line and at the end, and all the poles where this power line uh, is has a, a, a PI, so uh, um, it has a, an angle. There are all these poles are automatically defined already and are inserted in the in the profile. So user just needs to add uh, the poles in between of those poles. Um, also, user defines the, the cables that are attached to, the, to those poles, and there's a predefined uh, list of cables. So it's already available in Electra, but users can also add their own cables and, all, and define the parameters for those cables. Um, it, users can define the maximum tension value, the base temperature, uh, and also the load factor. So the, that's the uh, winter load um, in this example. Okay, when this is set, everything is done then and gets calculated. And if user changes the position of the power line in layout, then the profile gets automatically and dynamically updated. <clears throat> um, Electra provides all the necessary tools to inspect safety distance either between the, the conductor and the terrain line, between the conductor and any objects that are on the terrain, uh, but also in between the two conductors that are um, added, or there are maybe more conductors on the same um, poles, and those distances can be, can be checked. There are functions for dimensioning, annotations, etc. So all of that can be added to the, uh, to the profile section. There is additional functionality for the crossings analysing. So whenever um, a, a power line crosses another power line or another infrastructure object done by, by CGS Plus uh, software, uh, Electra finds all those crossings and defines them and shows them in the in the cross in the in the profile section so here's a crossing with another power line and the two the two conductors which are attached to that power line are shown here with the exact elevation so so now the interference between the let's say between between the lower um, cable on the on the first power line and the upper cable on the on the second power line can be inspected but then it's also there's a, a rail track in one part and also the distance between, let's say, between the between this uh, rail track and especially the envelope of the rail, tra of the rail vehicle uh, and the, the cable can be inspected. Okay. At the end, Electra produces reports for all the conductors that are attached to the, to the poles. Uh, with all the parameters uh, of the SAC from minus 20 degrees to plus 40 degrees with, with all the um, 
needed values which are calculated so that designers get all necessary information about the sex okay so let's so here's another video that will just guide us through what has been just uh, presented so first um, here it's how we get to the Electra ribbon we start a project we'll now define our our power line so yes in this example so there, there were two drawings in one there is already a surface in case we don't have it we just we can build it from from a survey points or from other elements like polylines blocks etc so when we have a dtm so we'll switch now to the to the other drawing when we have the dtm now we can start with the designing of the power line okay so there's just additional layers for the cadastral information and existing infrastructure so now we go to access manager here all the power lines are defined and we can add more so just by defining new axis we can define new power line that will be designed we give it a name click OK and then we, when we start designing it we define so we can we can change so which for which power line we will be uh, drawing it is always on the last one that we have set now just define the starting position of this power line here we'll do an angle and then the finish point of this power line so everything was now prepared for the profile we just insert this terrain to a, a profile view table and as seen, as seen here so the first pole the pole at the angle and the and the pole at the end have been added to the profile and then if we move the, the power line the profile gets automatically updated then we will just add a conductor to that to that pole we go to the catenary there's a list of conductors we select one define all other parameters if were needed and which are needed okay and then just define the the height the attaching point to the pole of this conductor and then we are just adding in additional poles okay so okay in the next section here's another another conductor and as seen here we just need to add some poles here so we will put some support poles and as, as seen as we move in the profile the preview of the catenary sack is already seen okay and if we stop here for a moment um, i just like to comment so all the examples that we had from our existing clients for what um, electra was used for so it was not used just for electric cables um, it was used also for optical cables but also for, for cableways or ski lifts design so the sec for those uh, cables is very similar so electra was used also for that kind of projects just for let's say for the sake of interest okay so let's continue we will add here some additional poles okay we can change the station of the pole to be on the exact location but what's more is so here an example was that we could define the position of the pole and change the location of the pole in profile but there's even more okay so also yeah other parameters like height but there's more so we can change the position of the pole in layout as well so sometimes we need to put it on the exact location because it's it might be located on a part of land where we are not allowed to put it so basically user has the possibility to to define the position of that pole in layout as well and it is automatically adjusted in the profile area
Okay. So when, so in this case, we had one conductor and we will now add additional one. So we will have more cables uh, attached to, to a specific pole. Okay. Uh, what we need is just to define the attaching point, the height of the attachment for this cable. Okay. So it will be one meter of this difference between those two uh, cables. And now we can see in the in the bands the height of those bands is automatically adjusted depending on the number of let's say of the poles that we have so we will be now adding the third conductor here the third cable and you will see that uh, yeah putting on the 8 meter and just be yeah so in the in the area for the poles the height of this band has been automatically adjusted for the number of uh, data that's needed. Okay. Uh, what's more, so we can now set the the checking height. So we are now interested for the the lowest cable if it meets the requirement that it is at least six meters above the ground. So the red line defines where those six meters are. So they are all above ground, so we are safe. But also we can inspect the heights between two cables in this case in this case between the upper cable and the middle one and we can see by the line that that there is not enough there's not enough distance between those two cables so we might need to to change the attaching point height uh, on the poles then what we can do is also we can inspect um, those safety height between the cables and the terrain and label it in the bands below and at the end we can produce the report with all the sacks containing all the data for for our for all cables that were used all the cables all the te all the uh, temperatures and the sacks which occur at specific temperatures of the air Okay, so at the end, I would like to invite you to our webpage, cgsplus.com, where you can get even more information, download our brochures, but also get in contact with us within the uh, inquiry that you can set, and we'll provide you all the details further on. So thank you for today, and goodbye.